What is going on guys? Carlos here from Life Game Paradise. We are back again with another episode of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And this time we're going to go and do another shrine. And this one is in the Akala Highland. Rasitakiwak, I think. That's how you pronounce it. They're making this shrine name is even more difficult, you know, like if it weren't difficult enough, now they're making them longer. The name is longer. So this is the location where the shrine is located. Uh, and uh, it is in the color region, but you'll be able to tell on the map now because I've unlocked the whole map. Now this one is one of the ones that you lose all your equipment when you get inside and you have to fight a bunch of guardians. And this time you have some um, uh, vehicles. So you can, you can kind of like... Uh, run them over I think that was the easiest thing for me but some of the strong ones you need to run them over a few times before uh, before they die but the the archers and things like that you run them over once and that's it they're dead so I mean as many as you can get rid of the better and try not to, to attract every single one of them uh, at the same time because then you're going to have issues because they will overwhelm you very quickly try to just keep moving keep running initially until you find a vehicle and uh, once you find a vehicle just keep on going around and around and just running them over this one's called proving grounds vehicles just don't forget to pick up all the weapons in here you're going to need them because you got no armor and uh, it, it's uh, it's going to be a tough battle in here there's quite a few of them i would have thought about eight i think um in total uh three six yeah i think about eight they're they're in total you know at first i started by pushing this box so they wouldn't see me but that didn't work out very well you know like i mean you can push this box all the way to the other side until you're very close to this guardian in here and then you can just rush him and uh and get it get it done just use your arrows if you can uh, and uh, these ones are not very difficult. They've got sticks. You can get rid of them very, very easily. And then next to it, to it, there was this. There's this vehicle here. So you can control this one, and you can just run over all of the ones that are around here. So like if you, you go towards this guy in here, that's it. One hit, and he's done. But you can get stuck very quickly, and then you can't reverse. So it becomes a very, a very big problem. This guy is a tough one. Uh, but if you've got a very strong weapon, uh, the, uh, I would suggest to use w the biggest stick that you got initially and uh, try to get rid of it just like this. You can get rid of it e eventually and then when, when it gives you that uh, stick with the, with the rock uh, on the end, that one is going to be pretty good to do, to do some damage to these guys. But as you can see, they are defeatable, but it will take a little bit of time. If there's too many forget it you, they will just overwhelm you very very quickly as you can see all the cars i've hit the cars by mistake of the vehicles by mistake and uh, they've gone over to the other side so i need to go and get i, I would like to have this one because it's much bigger you can do a lot more damage to these uh to these guardians uh with this one but uh, the wheels are still on so they will just continuously spin um out of control so the first thing I did, I'm going to get the little one in here and stop this fan from spinning. And then uh, because I can't reverse, I need to rearrange it. So I'm going to try and get rid of some of these guys without, uh, without having to fight them off. If I can uh, run them really fast, just like that. But as you can see, it takes almost nothing to that guy because he's a big one. And uh, he's got a, a blowtorch in his hand. He's going to do a lot of damage to me. And he, he did. He's just burning constantly and I'm not taking any health from him. So I decided to just go and uh, and try to find another way and just run. That's all I did. Oh, more more damage because of that uh, blowtorch. It is really, really deadly that. But he's, he's setting fire to all the guardians around him as, as well. So the weak ones, they're going to go. They're going get, to get some damage as well. So I'm going to go and get try to get that... Um, vehicle the big vehicle that i initially had um and but this guy is just not letting go is uh <laughs> but he's on fire as well so uh, uh hopefully i'll be able to stop these wheels now and uh grab this uh i'm trying to run him over without being in it it is so annoying uh, i just don't want them all to rush me at the same time but with this stone here it's pretty good and the, the weapon that he's got in his hand with a spiky ball that does a lot of damage so if you can get rid of the, the these ones with the spiky ball and collect their weapons that that's pretty good you'll be in, in a good spot now we need to 
uh, put this away and pick up uh, this uh, vehicle so we can go towards the other side. It, it does take a while to defeat them. This is probably one of the longest videos I've done. But I'm trying to show you everything that I did, you know, like, so you won't... Uh, so you won't think that I've uh, that I've uh, you know I'm, I'm cutting off the video, but as you can see, it is it is doable with these guys. I just need to get rid of them. You know, this guy with the three eyes is very very deadly. <laughs> He's probably one of the toughest ones in here. So I stopped the wheels once again, and I went over to the other side because there's some archers on the other side, and I can get rid of them very very quickly. As you can see, the construct bar at the top is like the overall health of uh, all of the guardians in here. Uh, but uh, and it's going down dramatically, but uh, my hearts are going down as well, so I need to be careful. So this guy in here, I just hit him and I just uh, run him over. So I did take quite a bit of health as well. It, look, look at this guy on the left in here. He's an archer. You just go towards him. Boom, that's it. He's done. Uh, no problems there. So we know you just have to go around and around a few times around this uh, center square. I, I still didn't work out how to get the stuff from inside that, that square. I assume that uh, you need to climb one, one of the platforms, which is doable. But um, I, I just thought, OK, why, why should I climb if I'm doing OK, if I'm not uh, getting overwhelmed? Uh, so these guys, again, very, very easy to do with a big, strong weapon. And then you've got one more to do. We have got one more to do. You, you probably have more than one to do if it's just starting this. I've got no, no arrows, but he's an archer. So I just need to wait for him to shoot at me. If he shoots an arrow at me, there you go. I'll be able to pick it up and then use it to shoot, shoot at him. And uh, one more arrow, that was enough. So I guess this is it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you did like this video or if this video helped you, please give us a like. Consider subscribing so I can continue releasing more content like this. If you like to know how I do my YouTube videos uh, or, I upload my, or I upload them to uh, the YouTube channel or manage my YouTube channel, there I've got some specific member-only videos that uh, will explain how to do that. So if you want to take some tips from them, you just have to become a member and uh, they will be available to you. So I guess this is it, guys. Uh, all you need to do now is see what's inside this chest, which is going to be a magic rod. And uh, that is really it. You can just go and uh, and pick up the Light of Blessing and finish the shrine. That's it for this one. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.